In this video, I'm going to go over a C program that appends lines of user input to a file. So here I have a file, and it has three lines of text already. One thing we can do with C is actually append content to an existing file, basically putting the new content at the bottom of the file. If I want to do that, the first thing I'm going to need is a file handle. So I'm going to say here file, star file, and file is going to be the variable where we store the file handle. The next step is to open the file. So I'll say file is equal to fopen file.txt and then a. So fopen is the function that's going to open files. And the first argument here is the name of the file to open. In this case, file.txt. The next argument is the mode. And this is the important part. So a means append mode. And we open a file in append mode any content we write to the file will be appended to the end of the file. So fopen is going to return the file handle. If there's some kind of problem opening the file, maybe the file doesn't exist, for example, fopen is going to return null. So a file would actually store the value null. We're going to check for that just because we don't want to work with a file that wasn't opened correctly. We'll say here, if file is equal to null, we know there's been some kind of problem. So we'll tell the user that. We'll say printf error opening file. And then we're going to return one to terminate the program. So returning one in the main function, we'll just terminate the program. And we're going to return one instead of zero because returning one is actually a signal to the terminal, to the shell here, that something's gone wrong in the execution of our program. Whereas returning zero means that everything was okay. So now that we know we have a file handle we can use, the next step is to accept user input and then store it to the file. So to do that, we're going to use a character array to accept the user input and store it into that character array. So we'll say here car buffer, and that's going to be where we store the user input. I'm going to give it a size using a constant here. I'm going to say number define max line 1024. And I'll use that as the size of the buffer. That means this buffer can store 1,023 characters plus one extra for the null terminator, which should be plenty of space. I'm also going to include a couple libraries as well. I'm going to include the string.h library because that is a function I can use to detect a special word that's going to terminate user input. And we'll just say that word is quit just because that word makes sense. I'm also going to include stdbool.h, just so I can use a true value. Okay. So now down here, we'll say printf, enter, quit, to exit. And then we're going to continually accept lines of user input and write them to the file until the user enters quit. So to accept the user input, I'm going to use fgets. I'll say fgets, buffer, max, line, and then stdin. So the fgets function is going to store into the buffer input from stdin, which means standard input, which for our purposes is going to be input from the terminal here, from the shell. You can actually cause standard input to be something else, like a file, just so you know. But for our purposes, it's going to be the terminal here. And we're using this argument max line, and that's basically defining the maximum amount of input that can be written to this buffer here. So once we've actually stored the input into the buffer, we're going to check to see if it's equal to quit. Because if it is, that means the user's done and we want to quit. So we'll say here if strcmp buffer quit slash n is equal to zero break. So this strcmp function is the string comparison function that comes from string.h. And we're comparing what's in the buffer to the word quit and then new line. Because there's going to be a new line character when the user enters quit and then hits enter. So we're going to compare it to quit and then new line. And if the strings are identical, strcmp is going to return zero. And if it does return zero, that means that they entered quit and they hit enter. And if that's the case, we're going to break. We're going to stop doing this loop. And then we're done. And when we're done, 
we're going to close our access to the file. So I'll say F close file. If the user hasn't entered the word quit, we're going to write the input to the file. So we'll just say F puts, and then we'll say buffer, and then the file handle. So F puts is going to write the string in this buffer here to the file with this file handle here. So we'll save this here and we should be good to go. So let's give this a compilation and then we'll run it. So it says enter quit to exit. So we'll just try to enter some lines here. We'll say another line, even more lines and one final line. And then we'll enter quit to quit. So now if we look at the file, we see that those three lines of content we just entered have just been appended to the file. And so that's how we can append lines of user input to a file with C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.